everyone today we will be studying about the structures passing through the jugular foramen with a simple trick okay so let's see how jugular foramen looks like it looks something like this and its uh, the structures passing through it are inferior petrosal sinus glossopharyngeal nerve see the nerves i have made from green color arteries are made from red color and veins are made from blue color as you can see so we are dividing this foramen into three parts anterior middle and posterior okay so uh, let's see the trick so there is some boy called joe okay joe so j stands for jugular so we will start from posterior middle and then we will come to anterior okay so there is some boy called joe j is for jugular vein o is for occipital artery e is for emissary vein then joe uh, joe studied 9th class 10th class and 11th class and did mba okay or you can say mbpa we did mba or mbpa it is a degree it is a kind of degree that we made okay so mbpa is meningeal branch of ascending pharyngeal artery mb mba ya mbpa okay uh, okay so see, uh, there is a boy called joe he did 9 10th and 11th class and then he didn't he didn't do 12th class and he uh, did mba and then he became ips officer okay so ips is inferior petrosal sinus so this is this was the simplest trick uh, post if, if, let's see again jo did 9 10 11th and then did mba and then became ips officer okay jugular vein occipital artery emissary vein as you can see now let's see in the uh, diagram i said uh, jo okay so j is for jugular vein which we cannot see in this diagram but it's definitely present <laughs> okay then occipital artery this is the meningeal branch of meningeal branch of occipital artery and then this is the emissary vein so this was the posterior this was the posterior okay and then middle here comes the middle 9 10th 11th 9 10th 11th and meningeal mbpa meningeal branch of pharyngeal artery this was the middle and this was the anterior part which is inferior petrosal sinus or ips okay thank you